Hello everybody and welcome back to some more mega modded Gungeon. We are jumping in. Hold oh, once again, let's go. Let's see what we randomize as, see what we get given, and we'll try out a little thingy here. But there is some potential news in the Gungeon sphere, which is probably a terrible word for it. Really? The loot? Can you give me something a little bit better? I don't know what that is. Bottle Rocket's kind of interesting, at least. Right, let's just head into our run. We've got three items there off the bat. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the, the amulet I got was called or what it does, but I'll have a little see when I get into the run. But yeah, there's some stuff happening in the in the, uh, in the the Gungeon Sphere, and hopefully sometime relatively soon, there might be some videos coming up with someone else in... I keep forgetting to turn off bloody Rainbow Run, for God's sake. Please don't say that's going to get rid of all the things that I just bought. Fuck! <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Damn it. That was stupid. It is what it is. Gosh damn. They weren't that good anyways. I wanted to see what that amulet was, but otherwise... Otherwise, I'm not that bothered. Um, one second here. Um, right, okay. We're gonna have to repick really our character and do all this stuff again. God damn, keep forgetting to turn off bloody Rainbow Run. Like the second or third episode in a row, I've just completely forgotten about it. Bugger off you, I don't want your crap. Oh, also, actually, I was told to play this. I'm gonna give it a go. Sure. Okay. I was told to try this again. I, I, I don't know if anything's changed with it or if they just want to see me die a lot. But this is the thing, this is the mode where everything has one health, but so do you, if I remember correctly. Um, it's a pretty interesting challenge mode. We're gonna give it a go again, because uh, it's been a little while since I played it. Um, it could keep, it could be potentially interesting, and like I said, it may have changed. I don't actually know if that's the case. I was just told to play it again. Um, Demoter bullets, chance to downgrade enemies, uh, that doesn't really do anything for us. And the steam rifle, that sounds really cool. It also has a very good sprite, whoa. Whoa, okay. Interesting. Okay, this is a very good gun for uh, for this challenge. I don't exactly know what the um, what the bar above us is doing. I'm not 100% sure on that, I'll be honest. Um, hello, bullet modifier. What the hell is this? Oh, okay. Isn't this, like, larger bullets? Because if so, that's, fucking, that's absolutely fantastic. Um... It definitely gives us knockback. Yeah, it's larger bullets as well. Okay. By the looks of it, at least, it's larger bullets. That's pretty incredible for us. It might not be, actually. I, can't, I honestly can't tell. But this is a very good gun for this. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we die in one hit here. I, I really can't tell. Yeah, I'm, I'm really unsure what the bar above us is. I think it's like maybe an overheat meter. I'm not 100% on that. Yeah, it's an overheat meter. That's cool. Oh, okay, okay. And that kind of explodes. That's really cool. Really, really cool. I like that a lot. Okay, we've got to be a little careful with how we use it then, don't we? Also, it seems to not... The, this thing seems to not always kill in one hit, which is strange. Very strange indeed. Just, like, kind of, it's kind of like setting up a trap, really. I can get this guy to walk into this, or not. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> what a great gun to start this out with. I, I kind of find it funny as well. It's kind of ironic that, like, I'm breaking um, this challenge with a gun by the creator of said challenge. Which I, I, I really like. <laughs> But this challenge is a lot of fun. It's very different. Obviously, it very much changes the way that you play. It very much changes the priority of what you want. Things like the club are much better than they would be otherwise. Um, armored bandage. Um, taking damage. Okay, that literally does nothing. On damage effects don't do anything. Although I am, I am confused to see that my health is uh, not just fixed at half a heart or whatever. I thought it used to be. Like I said, it might, this, this, it might be completely different. Let's just try and not get hit for now. We also got the Fire Lance here. I don't think we need the Fire Lance. I'll just buy the key. 
and I'll check my other rooms because why not? But yeah, uh, I don't want to reveal anything quite yet just because um, the, I don't know if I can. Um, and I don't want to step on anyone's toes. But there is something potentially coming. In fact, one second. Let me just do a, a, a hot bit of in-the-moment research here. Um, and make sure there isn't anything already about it available for people to see. One second. Do, 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 do. Oh, no, there is. It came out 22 minutes ago. Uh, Alexa is starting to play Modded Gungeon. I gave him my... Uh, my like mod list and he's uploading modded gungeon um and hopefully pretty soon me and him are gonna do some co-op it's gonna be pretty awesome so one thing i'm really hoping comes out of this is i'm really hoping that um i'm, I'm definitely gonna go watch that video after this by the way but i'm really hoping that um it brings a whole new host of people to modded gungeon because honestly modded gungeon is it's been in a pretty bad state for a while now um like not in not in the uh, the people that, that make the mods or anything like that. More so just in the fact that it's it's relatively unknown. I'm gonna leave that there for now. Um, it's relatively unknown in the greater uh, sense of the roguelike community and even just the greater sense of the Gungeon community. I feel like the modding scene is so small, um, but it has so much to offer. I mean, of course, you guys know that already. Um, that it has a ton to offer, uh, and it it really is um, it really is a shame because. The, there is so much more that could be cracked wide open if more modders were to join the scene and just so much more motivation for the people that are creating um, mods to make more mods if there's more people making content on it and more people joining the community. So hopefully this will be a bit of a resurgence if uh, Alexa series takes off a little bit. One moment. All right, let's keep it going. Yeah, I was just making the uh, modders in the Discord aware that Alexa have released his first video. Um, but yeah, he said he might make it into a little series. I don't know if he's going to continue it first. Because at the minute, it's just for his, what he calls, Aleximus. Uh, for those of you that don't watch him. He basically has this uh, thing where, over the Christmas period, he goes back and plays old games he used to have on his channel. And he used to play a, a little bit of Gungeon. Yeah, okay. I do die in one hit. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> I was a little bit hasty there to run directly into that enemy. Uh, but we'll, we'll keep playing Paradox here. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, like I said, I, I basically just sent Alexa the exact mod list. Because now that we're on Thunderstore, that is another thing as well. I think modding has changed a lot because of Thunderstore's availability. Actually, modding Gungeon is so much easier than it used to be. And so much more accessible. And um, it's now using a system that people know and understand and have used for other games. Uh, so... Really, I'm hoping that brings more people in as well. Um, we got the Huntsman here, um, and we also got something... I don't know what this is. Uh, Book of Misspells. Wizard Enemies Randomize. Interesting. Um, yeah, uh, and I'm, I'm really hoping that that in itself is going to be a big factor in, um, in bringing new people in. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm really, really hoping this is something big. Because the thing is, now, it's, it's kind of like a weird thing for me, really. Because... It's like, people might think, oh, but, like, you're, like, one of the main channels that does modded Gungeon. Like, surely you want to stay as the, oh, dude, <laughs> you want to stay as the main person that people come to modded Gungeon to. Why would you want, like, a bigger creator to come and, like, t take your views away? He's not doing that, obviously, but, you know what I mean? Why would you want someone to come in and, like, potentially take away my viewers or, like, my sort of... I don't know, ownership of the modded Gungeon thing, but actually it's completely the opposite. I actually am really embracing it because I feel like if if Alexa's series does well and if people really like the idea of modded Gungeon, it'll bring more people to the community and bringing more people to the community means more people will be watching the content, which means it might actually bring more people to my channel. So it's really a win-win. Um, and also, yeah, I just Alexa's just a fantastic content creator, so... I'm excited to watch uh, watch him play it, especially considering ooh, um, the cap, mushroom cap, uh, frequently blanks. Okay, it does some extra blanks. Um, and then we got the vacuum gun here, which actually might be insane. Um, but yeah, um, oh yeah, it's very good. <laughs> it's very good. Um, yeah, because uh, I enjoy watching this content so much, and I made some of the stuff in modding or contributed towards. It's going to be really interesting to, to hear his reactions and see his reactions to things. I mean, that's probably one of the greatest things in, um, in like, being a mod creator is I feel, oh, 
as if I died there. Um, I, is what I feel is like being able to see people react to things that you've made. I mean, Never Named has said on numerous occasions that one of his sort of big driving forces um, in him making his mod is my content and other people's content on the mod. So there was mainly the, the main two sort of ways he was getting that was through my videos or being in the videos with me and a person called Pointy uh, over on Twitch that um, me and Never Named are friends with. They um, aren't playing Gungeon anymore, but they basically played Gungeon from start to finish um, and then moved on to modded. And so Never Named was getting a lot of uh, feedback through that. And I think it's the same for pretty much any modders. Getting that feedback, it's crucial to keeping your motivation to want to keep modding uh, alive. I, I feel like it makes a really, really big impact. Um, and I, it's exactly the same for me as well. Like I, um, I made the secret room mods for Isaac and while I haven't seen a ton of their uh, people coverage, because for one, even if they do, they're meant to be rare, so you don't see them that often, but watching uh, BD1P and watching Alexa use those mods in their respective series was really enjoyable because especially with them being rare, I'd kind of, oh, this is the minute gun. We don't want to use the minute gun right now. I'd kind of watch the whole video and wait for if one of my secret rooms comes up and then I got to see their reactions to it. And yeah, I just I just found that super enjoyable. I really loved it. Got those clown bullets, gotta love them. I don't know if the clown bullets will actually do anything. Because uh, it's it changes enemies into clowns on hit, so it might not be all that good. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm getting toasted right now. I'm getting absolutely toasted right now. This is brilliant though. I, I love this mode. This mode is so... It's such a big departure from the way that Gungeon's meant to be played. That it, it really... It's, it's quite a unique challenge. I think part of the problem right now is obviously I'm just not playing it on turbo mode. Uh, sorry, I am playing on turbo mode, which is definitely causing an issue. Um, one second. Right, let's continue onwards and see what we can get going. Basically, this is just like, uh, like, what good items do we get to start with? This oddly aromatic powder has a particular effect on gun dead explosive enemies seems more susceptible. Yeah, we're basically just looking for um, the best weaponry to make this plausible. And honestly, I think the vacuum gun was unfortunately our best bet. And we have, um, we've flushed that opportunity right down the toilet on the first floor, uh, which isn't great. <laughs> oh, what the hell? What happened with that room? Was that, to, uh, was that to do with the pheromones thing that I just... Okay, I think it just means that like all explosive enemies are automatically on my side, which seems pretty good. I'm definitely down for that. I'm most certainly down for that. But yeah, I'm actually really, really excited to uh, to go and watch Alexa's video because it has been so long since um, the last sort of other person on YouTube covered modded Gungeon in a in a proper way. So I think I think it was literally Retromation's last um, last Gungeon series that he did modded. It was the last time. And so much has come out since then. Um, so much has happened since then. The modding scene. Um, and obviously, Retromation, I don't know if anyone here... Ooh, very nice. I don't know if... It, actually, that doesn't actually make, make any difference to us. Um, I don't know if anyone here still watches Retromation, but he he took a pretty... Oh, what the fuck? Okay, there was an enemy there, um, and it didn't kill me in one hit. So I'm assuming that uh, contact damage doesn't kill you in one hit for some reason. Um, yeah, he, he actually basically found his out. He was originally an entirely pretty much Gungeon-based channel. Like, all of his viewership came from Gungeon, but he did other things. Uh, but then he kind of found his out and started reviewing a bunch of other roguelike games and now his channel has flourished into something completely new uh, where he can cover all sorts of new games. He's kind of sort of similar to Wonderbot, if anyone's watched Wonderbot, um, in the fact that he just covers a lot of everything. Um, and he's doing a really good job of it. Really good job of it. Um, I still do enjoy his content from time to time. I don't watch him super regularly just because I don't really have the time. But whenever there's new games that I want to check out, especially roguelikes, I can always sort of reliably check up on his channel um and what we got here interesting yeah i can always reliably check up on his channel <laughs> what the hell <laughs> what's going on with the sprite fires garbage very rapidly okay um <laughs> and we've also got the drone here as well whoa okay this is a very strange weapon i will accept it I wonder if poison insta-kills. My- oh god damn. Yeah, that, 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 that does a lot of damage. We also got the poison dart frog as well, so it's a very poison-centric run, this. Do I have a perfect 
weapon for this. I, th I think, honestly, I want to keep using this, regardless of the fact that the poison might be a little bit dangerous. Let's just keep going. This is uh, <laughs> likely to be an interesting one. Now, I'm not going to spend um, a ton of time on this uh, on this mode. Like, if, if we get to, like, the 25, 30 minute mark and we die, I'm probably just going to leave it. What's going on with my stats? I'm probably going to leave it there. I don't want to do, like, a full hour of this because while this is a lot of fun, spawn die, spawn die isn't exactly the best viewing experience. Uh, but we'll try and make it as far as we can. I think... We have the potential. I'd say this run right here, as long as I don't play like an absolute goof, could carry me to um, the fourth floor. That's where I'm going to say. I want to try and use the drone a bit more actively, but honestly, it's a little hard to uh, it's a little hard to use him correctly. Righty her then. We'll grab that. What's this? Negridu, 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 Decay, Negridu. Curse increases rate of fire. Awesome. That is really cool. What on earth is going on with the stats and stuff of this thing? It's bugging the hell out. We've got quite a lot of uh, fire rate, so I, I have a feeling poison's still going to kill me in one hit here. So let's not take any poison damage. I <laughs> this this gun's just stupid. Covering the entire room in poison. We really ought to be looking for something a little less uh, dangerous to ourselves here, but I'm having fun with it. No! <laughs> I didn't realise there was those traps in the room. That is super, super unfortunate. Right, um, go for a quick restart again. We just need that one run with a good starting equipment. I'm trying to think of what base game weapons would be super good to get. And then what modded ones on top of that? Sanctified oil would be ludicrous if we could manage to get that. Because the damage down that it applies just wouldn't matter. And it'd just be like, we'd become a bullet hose. The Vulcan cannon would obviously be pretty in incredible. Even the Gungeon would be really, really good. There's quite a lot of things that would really um, step this uh, step this game mode into the another level. I can't remember if I've ever beaten this before. I I seem to remember that I have. But I, I honestly, I'm not 100% sure if that's the truth or not. If anyone can recollect whether I've ever beaten this murder before, maybe uh, Knife to a Gunfight himself, Skeletor, um, knows. Because I don't remember. I definitely made it quite far, but I, ne I, I don't remember if I've actually beaten it before. It's a pretty tough murder, to be honest. Especially if you're playing on Turbo mode and there's a lot more going on. You've got a lot more to keep, uh, keep your mind on. Right, see what items we start with this time around. Please be something useful. Sticky launcher. Okay, pretty bad. Pretty bad start. Sticky launcher. Ex I don't even know what to say about that. I basically... I lived four seconds. <laughs> I walked into that room, and the amount of fire in the room was very concerning to me and I, I I kind of just froze for a hot second and because there was so much fire I instead of moving into the room I backed into the doorway and then turbo mode did its thing and fired a pretty lightning fast shot and it hit me <laughs> that's probably the fastest death I've ever had in Gungeon that might well be the fastest death I've ever like legitimate death I've ever had in Gungeon literally four seconds it took longer to load that last run than I actually got to play it for. I mean, the weapons were terrible anyways. The what the, the grenade launcher is pretty bad. Even, even like, on a normal mode when it's not one-hit kill, it's, it's a pretty bad weapon. Um, and, of course, the gun lust, I don't think it does much for us. Yes, it's, it is a little unfortunate that uh, the load times are so bad. I'm almost certain. I, I, don't, I can't confirm this, and I do apologise if I'm, if I'm slandering your name, Skilltor, but I do believe that Knife to a Gunfight is the main reason for the poor load times. I never used to have bad load times until you until playing with that mod. I'm going to have to do some testing with that to find out if that's actually the truth. Uh, but I'm fairly sure fr from what I remember, the long load times are caused by that. So we got... Um, Oh, wait, we got the original. We didn't get the remake. We got the original Bloodied Scarf. Fuck. So, um... Also, what the fuck's going on with this gun? Oh! <laughs> That's so cool. It's very going to be very hard to use, I, I bet, but... Oh, no. This is not... This is a bad combo of stuff. I don't... I don't like the things that we have right now. This is... 
yeah, so basically, if you didn't know, um, Expand the Gungeon actually fixes the Bloody Scarf and allows you to normal roll as well as teleport. But the way that it does that is by just adding a new item and removing the real item from the available pool to find. But apparently, you can still start with it um, as Paradox. So, <laughs> yeah. What the hell's this? Teleporting Gunfire. I'm not quite sure what that is. Creates copies of themselves from beyond the curtain. Um, I'm not quite sure what that means. Let's see if it... I'm not noticing anything. Okay, I see. Bullets come from the other side of the wall. I can't tell if it's working with this or not. I don't think I can... Yeah, this is actually going to be really good. Really, really good with this. But I, I don't think we can use it with our uh, orbital weapon. Yeah, because we're just going to be hitting things more reliably now. That's really cool. I like that. We need a weapon that goes along with it. We haven't had a good weapon out of a chest yet, I don't think. Now, honestly, this is great. I love this. What the hell's this? Cool. Give it a go. Just get out of here. Let's get out of Skadoodle. Beautiful. Slightly better this, but not the best. Now that, that could be something that we quite like. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Right. Let's speed along. Let's speed along. This could be a very good run with the uh, the situation with that warp bullets or whatever they were called. Plus this hand crank minigun. <laughs> I like the uh, all the like, yieldy weapons that, um, that Never Named added. I say he old, they're not that old, but, um, yeah, I like all the older era weapons. He, he's, uh, planned and sprited a bunch of modern weapons as well. I, I think, I think Never Named still has, like, quite a lot in his sort of workbook that he hasn't added to the game. Uh, he's always sitting on a lot of different sprites and ideas. He, he basically went through a period of just making a redonkulously insane amount of sprites. Um, I did forget that I've got Bloodied Scar. Can I drop that? Yeah, thank you. Um... He went through a phase of just making an insane amount of sprites while he didn't have his PC. Um, and they're just kind of in the backlog. But he's he's been waiting for a, a new reason to sort of get back into Gungeon and implement everything. Because um, the inscription modding that he does has kind of been more hot right now. But with the return of... Well, I say return. With the new addition of Alexa to the series. Um, it could be that Never Named... Um, Never Named ended up working a little, a little more on his uh, mod. But, I mean, it's, it's no pressure to you. I wouldn't say that he has to or expect him to. I like this. It's pretty cool. Um, I love the fact that the hand crank actually turns on the back as well. Like, that is A plus for effort. Yeah, this is this is a very good weapon for this challenge. And then we got Blurple. Rotates around the player, blocking bullets, gives extended invulnerability on damage. I mean, that would be nice if we could get hit even once, but we can't, so that doesn't do too much for us. This room's full of ghosties. Um, Locked armor? I can't remember what locked armor does. I'll be there. Clarity. Like the other version. Speeds up glass guanstones. Pretty niche, I guess, but thanks. Damn it, I wish I'd have gone in here first. Table tech stun. Don't think any of those actually are uh, valuable to us anyways, so... Doesn't particularly matter. Careful of the bounties. I do, I do just have to be careful and wary of the fact that this thing has a long reload and kind of a short mag. Nail gun. That wasn't so hard. Oh! Oh, we got a synergy! It dual wields these things. 
Rotator potato. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't I don't actually think that it's worth Oh wait, I was about to say if it's worth using this. It, it might be. It seems to be killing stuff across the room. Ammo situation doesn't seem to be great with it though. Okay, now this, this, this for some reason just kills everything. Excuse me, how did you get through my impenetrable wall there? Yeah, this is going to be a risky, risky weapon to use, but I can't ignore the rotator potato, can I? Fire the bees. Right. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty interesting synergy there, as if I got that. That's great. Well, that was close. I almost got hit there. Yeah. I think we're just going to have to stick with this weapon for now. Um, I could go in here and see what's what. That seems pretty good. Although it seems like it's going to burn through ammo really, really fast. I don't know why it didn't add any max ammo on. This one duct taped an extra two guns. Nice. Hmm. This is interesting. I think I kind of ruined my Gatling gun. For some reason, it didn't add any new ammo onto it, which is not good, because now I basically just burn through my ammo ridiculously fast. Not the best. Not the best. But we've got an intriguing setup so far. Chaotic Shift is uh, kind of a meme. This setup, this this weapon seems like the best that we've got. No way that hit me. No shot. Where did that come from? Oh, there's a bullet kit right there. Oh my god. Okay. Well, anyways, we're gonna leave the video there. We're at one or nine deaths. Uh, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I really, really like that mode. I'm gonna play a little bit more of that. I hope you guys did enjoy though, and I'll see you guys in the next one.